For the folks who are like, oh, you know, he was elected, so was Hitler. <laughs> First, they came for the socialists, and I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Martin Niemöller. Being queer has no bearing, well, I have to tell you, like, I, you know, I, I, I kind of, like, when they ask me to speak about homophobia sometimes, I fuck it up a little bit, like, oh, you know, sometimes these gay people, you know, we've done a lot of, like, great things over the last decade or so, and sometimes somebody needs to, like, say, like, what the fuck are you doing, you know? So it's not going to be like, yay, gay, you know, just so you know. <laughs> <clears throat> Being queer has no bearing on race, my white publicist says. True love is never affected by color. I curb the flashes of me, crashing across the table to knock his blonde skin from Manhattan to Montego Bay to bear witness to the bloody beatings of brown boys accused of the homosexual crime of buggery. Amidst the newfangled fads and fallacies, the New Age claims that sexual and racial freedom has finally come for all these under-informed, self-congratulating, pseudo-intellectual utterances reflect how apolitical the left has become. It is now commonplace to hear young activists say the terms black and lesbian and political come across as confrontational. Why can't we all just be people? <laughs> Tongue and courage tied with fear. I am at once livid, ashamed, and paralyzed by the neoconservatism breeding malicious amongst us. Gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, ally, questioning, two-spirit, non-gender conforming. Every year we had a fucking letter. <laughs> Yet every day, Every day I become more and more afraid to say black or radical or woman. Every day under the pretense of unity, I swallow something I should have said about the epidemic of AIDS in Africa or the violence against teenage girls in East New York or the mortality rate of young boys on the south side of Chicago. Even in friendly conversation, I have to rein in that Belhooksian urge to kill motherfuckers who say stupid shit to me all day. All day. Bitter branches of things I cannot say out loud sprout deviant from my neck. Fuck you, you fucking racist, sexist turd. Fuck you for crying about homophobia while you exploit the desperation of undocumented immigrants to clean your hallways, bathe your children, cook your dinner for less than you and I spend on a tax-deductible lunch. I want to scream out loud, all oppression is connected, you dick! At, at the heart, of every political action in history stood the dykes who were feminists, the anti-racists who were gay rights activists, black men who believed being vulnerable could only make this community stronger. As the violence against us increases, where are the LGBT centers in those neighborhoods where those assaults occur most frequently? As the tide of the Supreme Court changes, as the tide of the Supreme Court changes, as the tide of the Supreme Court changes, where are the marches to support a woman's right to a fucking abortion after they repeal, and after they repeal the Affordable Care Act, 
What do we plan to do about health insurance for those who can't fucking afford it? HIV AIDS was once a reason for gay white men to act up. Now your indifference spells the death of straight black women, imprisoned Latino boys. Apparently, if the tragedy does not immediately impact you, you don't give a fuck. Apathetic and individualistic. No one knows where to vote or who to vote for anymore. The faces that now represent us. The faces that now represent us have begun to look like the ones who used to burn crosses and beat bull daggers and fuck faggots of the ass with loaded guns. The companies that sponsor our events do not honor the way we live or love or dance or pray. Progressive politicians still dance around the issue of criminal justice reform. For all the landmarks we celebrate, those of us who hold economic and political power, those of us who feel we have a place at the fucking table. Do not, do not be misled into thinking you are still more than a nigger or a faggot or a minstrel created on the funny pages of a white heteronormative world. The truth is the current liberal manifesto is a corporate agenda. And outside of that agenda, a young boy dressed in drag is swallowing an adult semen so he can pay for dinner. A woman is beaten every 12 seconds. Count them every 12 seconds, every two minutes. A girl is raped somewhere in America. And while we all stand here, well-dressed and rejoicing, well-dressed and mourning what we have lost in India, in China, in South America, a small child cuts the cloth to construct your new shirt, your new shoe. The old imperialism upheld by the misuse of impoverished lives. Gather round, ye allies. Allies, activists, where are you dissenters? All of you committed to radical social change. We are not simply at a crossroads. We are at a political quagmire buried knee deep in a battle for our very humanity. The powers that have always been have already come for the Jew, the communist, the trade unionist. The time to act is now. Now that there are still ways we can fight this motherfucker. Now, while the rights we have left are so very few. Now, because it is the right thing to do. Now, before you open your door to find they have finally come for you.